On this episode, we're talking about dancing, the Calibri sound, and it's pineapple acceptable on pizza. Let's do it. <laughs> this is Bobby Calibri's. I'm with the band Calibri's. This is hashtag Ask Calibri's. So ask me anything. Let's have some fucking fun, man. Cheers. Ashley McIntosh from YouTube. She writes, Bobby, how do you feel about when people search for you? They also find Bobby Calabrese's Beach Body blog. I thought it was going to be you in a Speedo. Oh. <laughs> Number one, I don't know what Bobby Calabrese's Beach Body blog is, but I can only imagine. It's pretty cool. Dudes with, you know, pretty tight bods. I can only imagine with a name like that. Um, but, and I know you have to. Don't, don't even start. But I know you've Googled yourself. Because I've, I've already done it. We do end up with um, certain things when I do type in Bobby Calabrese or Calabrese, as you will. Um, we end up with Autumn Calabrese. The pic that, that picture of the fat guy on the beach with the, the chest hair and the, the crucifix and you you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And uh, and broccoli. Fucking broccoli. <laughs> That's all you get when you search calories. But my question to you, my friends, do you ever think the people that <laughs> the people that are searching for, say, broccoli? Autumn calories or fat guys in speedos with gold medallion fucking things. What, what the fuck do they think? <laughs> when they see three fucking greasy dudes in leather jackets and long, weird, you know, uh, outsiders haircuts. What the fuck do they think when they see that? That's my question to you, my friends. If there's a question I want answered, it's that one. This is from Joseph. He writes from Twitter. Do y'all still keep in touch with the guys in zombies? And if you do, tell them to get back together. Let me just. Oh, I'll use. Hey, zombies? This is Kelly's. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, Joseph wants you to get back together. All right, cool. Thanks. And call. There you go, Joseph. <laughs> but in all seriousness, we do still keep in touch with those guys. Those guys are really cool. There has been uh, recent rumblings from the underground that they've been, um, you know, mum's the word that uh, they they're coming out with something new. Hopefully, there's uh, talks of. New record, new EP, I don't even know. That's how secretive it is. But yeah, those guys are definitely cool. Back in the day, they were the definite kings of fucking Danzig meets Sam Hain meets Misfits, everything you've ever wanted right in one band. There they are, Zombies. And they had that one record that was kick ass and still kick ass today. I think you can still find. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully. Uh, They'll do something soon. This one is from Richie Calabrese. Do I know you? Richie asks from Facebook, um, any favorite video game? Uh, Richie, are you insinuating that I'm a nerd? You insinuate right, my friend. <laughs> I like Resident Evil. It was one of the first real games uh, I played at the gym, and I rented it from Blockbuster when you could rent PlayStations. We rented the PlayStation, we rented Resident Evil, and we got fucking freaked out, man. I'll tell you what, that game is the scariest game on earth. You watch it now, it looks like a piece of shit. It was pretty fucking scary. From Tony Graff. Tony, how you doing? He's wondering, 
how come you didn't read my question? <laughs> uh, well, here you go, Tony. There you go. I'm gonna read it right now. I'll ask again. Hey, oh, relax, Tony. All right, he says, will you ever go back to the old horror punk sound? More misfits, less dancing. Thank you, Tony. Thank you for that. It's a good question you bring up. Um, mm -hmm. No! And yes. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's no and yes because we have, I guess, changed, you could say, you know, musically, we've kind of hit peaks and valleys and horizons. We've done all the all the shit we've ever done. I think, yeah, definitely the last record sounds a lot different. More Danzig, I think, because I think we started playing with um, slower tempos, just kind of just heavier, kind of creepier like metal riffs. And it's it's been fun and it's cool, and we just kind of been evolving. But it's been an evolution by accident we just kind of do how it fucking is at that moment and um i think that's how we wrote the last couple albums we have all sorts of influences and we have all sorts of crazy shit coming at us that kind of molds all these crazy songs we do and mr it's a pretty fucking kick ass you better get that in your head right now boy the mr fucking rule and it's pretty cool that you think we have a mystery sound because that's kind of what we were going for in the beginning. We've grown up and we just kind of take all these influences and I mean, dear God, Davey has appeared. He's a grown ass man. He turned into a, a, a robo into a chuck fucking biscuits, man. So he's got it. He's got to grow. <laughs> Will we go back to the horror punk sound? Maybe. You never know. In a couple of years we might get sick of what we're doing now and we might go back to that accidentally, um, but I know the new record is going to have a lot of, it's going to have a couple slow jams, a couple kick-ass jams, faster songs, hopefully it's a hodgepodge of everything we've ever done in the past, and hopefully my friend, Tony, you will like it, from Richie Clothier, Richie Clothier, um, he is on Facebook and he's asking, what's your favorite dancing song? There you go, baby. I love dancing. I'll tell you that right now. I love the Misfits. And I love dancing. So there you go. I like that. Um, <laughs> I'm going old school. I'm going classic. I'm going the classic 1988 record uh, entitled Danzig. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> You can't, can't make it up, baby. First record produced by Rick Rubin, the Rick Rubin. Off of that record, I would say my favorite song of all time by Danzig would be probably, I would say, Possession. Super evil, where you just, oh, fuck yeah, dude. It's really evil, and I like that. <laughs> um, but I would go that Possession by Danzig. And um, yeah, Danzig, hope you're seeing this, and then that'll be Call Me, and I love you, and bye, man, I love you, bye, I love you. This is from Mads. I know Mads. We know Mads. All the way from England. She writes on Instagram. She asks, pineapple on pizza is perfectly acceptable. Discuss. Not really a question, but kind of a, sounds like a general, general question. Anti-pineapple on pizza people and pineapple on pizza people fighting the people together and I don't understand why because you know what I'm putting my goddamn foot down right now. I don't care what these top chefs, all these Gordon Ramsay's, all these fucking Anthony Bourdain's, although I like Anthony Bourdain, he's pretty cool. But I don't care what that other third Joe Blow says about pineapple fucking pizza. Pineapple freaking pizza Pineapple on a pizza, I'm putting my foot down. It's good. People of the pineapple 
states in the pineapple universe, and they will not come between us. They will not divide us. I'm telling you that right now, my friends. Vote pineapple pizza. <laughs> because without pineapple pizza, there is no America. Thank you, and good night. Pineapple pizza for president 2017. Thank you, good night. Thank you for getting me riled up about that. And uh, God save the queen. All right. Do, you, do you like it? Yes. <laughs> Cor Corsi. Corsi? Corsi? He's on Twitter and he asks uh, Has Bobby cut his hair? <laughs> Wait. What? Wait. Come on. Hey, thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in, checking us out. Um, this is really fun for us, so thank you for asking questions. If you got any more, make sure you ask more down below, because if you ask them, we're going to fucking answer them, all right? So, uh, like I said, it's fun. Let's keep it going, see what happens. I want to know, what's your favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni? Sausage? Or pineapple? You better say pineapple, motherfucker. Get your comments below. Subscribe to Calibri's at YouTube and all that good shit. We appreciate it. Make sure to smash that like button. Smash it. And uh, even if you don't have a question, that's okay. Just uh, write some comments down below. We like reading them. We like uh, checking them out. See you next time. Have a good one. Rock and roll, motherfuckers.